Once upon a time, two regal sisters lived in harmony. They ruled with grace and leadership. The sisters loved each other dearly, despite their differences. But alas, those times were gone. No longer did they live in harmony and grace. None. As for their love, the sister grew withered away, while the eldest, she purposely threw away. The younger sister admitted this fact, and the eldest seemed to accept it. And the young mare asked her sister if she felt the same way. The older mare refused, burying her anger inside. And the eldest proceeded to falsely love her sister. This gave the younger sister false hope. Celestia. Luna called out. Celestia, where are you? Celestia was dealing with private matters. One moment, Luna. She replied. When she came down the step, she called out. What is it? Oh, nothing. Luna smiled. Luna, what have you... Nothing. The question you a should be asking is... Luna smiled even wider. What have you done? Luna! Celestia screamed as she was dragged into darkness. No, stop. Please, Luna. Celestia croaked. It was cold. Desolate room. And Luna had kept her sister there for days. What? Afraid of the dark? Luna suddenly appeared in front of her sister. Celestia didn't want to give her sister any satisfaction. So she stayed quiet. Why? Why are you doing this? Don't act like you don't. You care. I know the truth. Luna hissed. You lied to me all these years. And to think. Her face was gaunt. She and her eyes darkened. I was starting to love you. Like a sister. Should you? Should. You are family. So I tried. Oh, I tried, but... Luna smiled wickedly. Now I know why you didn't love me back. So why should I love you? She inquired. I... I do love you, Luna. I... Celestia stammered. Don't lie to me. So her sister roared. Don't lie, you little. She muttered as she trotted away. Luna, wait. But she was gone and the silence began again, once again. Celestia, I want you to tell me the truth. She, w Luna whispered. Celestia was getting quiet, quite used to the dark room and every once in a while Luna would visit. Luna, you know I have been telling you that- Celestia once again tried to convince her sister, convince herself. Was her word a lie? Was her whole life a lie? What kind of mare was she, lying to her sister about such matters? What kind of pony are you, not even knowing if you owned words are true? Lies. The younger sister shouted. If you know it's not the truth, then why don't you leave me alone? I want to he hear you say it, confirm it, and if you know it's not true, then why? I don't know, Luna. The elder princess cried. I don't know. I'm sorry. You're sorry. That's all you have to say. You disgust me. Luna, do you know what I've been through? been going through the nightmares. They tell me things. They want to me to... To what? S sister, you shouldn't... Don't... Don't call me sister. You have no right. As for the nightmares, they have proven to be more trustworthy than the likes of you. Celestia dared not answer to that. I will return tomorrow, and I expect the truth. That happened a decade ago. Having told the truth, Celestia was released. And Luna forgave her, or so it would seem. After the instant, not another word was spoken of the matter. It seemed as though Luna even forgot the whole saying. Celestia, however, did not. Every so often, she would think about it. How did her sister even find out about her charade? She told herself it was no matter, but... Then she wondered how her sister could forget. This troubled Celestia greatly. 
She began to watch her sister closely. Celestia noticed something. Her sister had been more and more distant as the day progressed. Luna was spending more time in her room, and Celestia sometimes heard her talk to herself. Or was some pony actually there, invisible, to Celestia's eyes? Celestia. Luna called, her voice unnaturally un nonchalant. Celestia came to her sister's side. Yes? I've been thinking. Luna had the same mischievous smile she wore years ago. My ap an apology is in order. For what? The incident years ago. Well, go on then. Oh. Luna's smile turned into a sneer. You must be mistaken. I'm not the one who needs to apologize. Celestia frowned. Luna, I don't need to- Hmm. Typical Celestia. Luna laughed. But it was far from lighthearted. Always thinking you're perfect. But you are far from it. I don't think I'm- Quiet! Luna was furious. I've been- Fighting for so long, dreading my own duties. I used to love the night. Now I dread it. I demand it. I dread it. Every night. I... I mean they... She shuddered. What have they been doing to Luna? Was she talking about the nightmares? Celestia now pitied her. Suddenly, Luna's expression turned from anger to shock. She withered in pain, blue smoke encasing her. Luna! Celestia screamed. When the smoke cleared, a mare that did not resemble Luna stepped out. She had pitch she was pitch black with a wild starry mane. Her pupils were thin slits. Apologize, Apologize dear, dear Tia, Tia said the black mare in an eerie tone. Confess, Confess and you shall, and you shall suffer, suffer less pain. pain. Her horn lit up, and the room became unnoticeably darker. The nightmare slowly approached Celestia. Luna, stop! Celestia hurried back up and tried to defend herself. We will, we will not, not stop, stop until, until you are taken care of. Celestia screamed once more. Black shadows appeared. Their eyes glowed blue. And their smile was wide. The nightmare smiled. The shadow closed over Celestia dragging her into darkness. Goodbye, Goodbye dear, dear sister. sister. Goodbye. Goodbye. The nightmare laughed gleefully. Hey guys, I uh, appreciate you guys taking the time to listen to this reading. I enjoyed doing the reading, but I wanted to make a little addition to this by letting you know that I want to thank Madam Horror's Art for creating the images that you see at the moment. Uh, she is a pretty good artist. I don't know if she's currently taking commissions or not, but if you want to check out her channel, I'll leave it in the description and her Tumblr page. I'd appreciate it if you guys check her out. I find her one of the better artists out there. Well, personally one of my favorites. <laughs> and you guys, please have a great day. Hey guys, uh, I appreciate you guys taking the time to listen to this reading. I enjoyed doing the reading. But I wanted to make a little addition to this by letting you know that I want to thank Madam Horror's Art for creating the images that you see at the moment. Uh, she is a pretty good artist. I don't know if she's currently taking commissions or not, but if you want to check out her channel, I'll leave it in the description and her Tumblr page. I'd appreciate it if you guys check her out. I find her one of the better artists out there. Well, personally one of my favorites. <laughs> and you guys, please have a great day.